Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Fat Man Dan. As if Christmas wasn't good enough to me already. We're stuffing our faces this week in the burger theory, and we are on a journey to find out exactly what makes the best burgers around in Bristol. Now, I'm hungry, and as you can probably tell, I'm excited to get in there, so let's get on in. Come on. Now, I'm not being funny, look at the state of that. That is one decent burger. Two five ounce patties. I've gone for the cheese theory today, and they do a 10 ounce, which is basically the two five ounce patties. I've also gone for the kimchi fries. That looks amazing. Now, I'm dead excited to get tucked into this. I'm gonna leave the kimchi fries for, for sort of an afterthought at the moment. That burger looks too tempting. I have got to get stuck into that. So this little baby is loaded up with crispy bacon, smoked cheddar, house pickles, absolutely full to the brim with great ingredients, as you can already see. I think the next thing we can do is just get tucked into the baby and give it a good old fashioned taste test. Let's have a little look. I mean, where'd you start with this? This is an absolute monster. Let's take the steak out. I think I'm going to attack it from the best angle, which is just to shove it straight in my gob. And let's just give it a good old look at it. Oh my God. This is mental, mental, mental scenes. Mm. That is superb. Absolute superb. There's a house sauce in that. It's a Dijon house ketchup. And it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I can't stop. I got people on going. It's like an addiction. I'm addicted to meat. What I like about this is there's, you know, you've got your little bits of your lettuce and things like that. They haven't overdone it. You've, you've really got, it is all about the burger. And, you know, these guys said that there is a science behind making burgers. And I firmly, firmly believe now that there is a science behind making burgers. The final point. One thing I will say, that is great value for money, that. That cheese patty, £8.75. That fills you up properly. Problem when you go to places like McDonald's, Burger King. I could come out and I could eat three more. That's incredible. Good value for money. Let's get tucked into this monster bowl of kimchi fries. And kimchi fries, black pepper, glazed beef, short rib. Um, they've got chipotle mayo and spring onions on top. Let's tuck in and see what happens. I'm gonna have a little bite of the chip first, I think. Chips are important, whether or not you can tell whether they're own made chips. So. Individually, the chips, superb. The kimchi, oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Even just the chip with the kimchi with the black pepper and stuff on it. Legendary. Stuff of legends. Do you know what? I was going for it. Spicy. I don't like it, so what? Dad said, can't eat, get out of the kitchen. Just enough heat in this. I'm going to stay in this kitchen. Big respects. Four marks to the chef on this one. This is definitely putting Burger Theory on the map today. Let me tell you something about that. Now, like I said before, the value for that, absolutely worth it. That was an absolute monster piece of food. Now, the festive, um, the festive treats, we went through rating them out of turkeys. I think going forward with the burger journey itself, we need to rate these out of burgers. The burger, for me, at the moment, and I don't like giving out full marks, but it's getting a full house. Five out of five burgers, absolutely for that. Kimchi fries, again, superb. Great fusions of flavours, spring onions, the chilli, the pepper. It was, um, well, it's mo it was more than food for thought, this was. Another, another five out of five for them as well. Overall, this is a great place. Get yourself down, get yourself onto Twitter, get yourself onto um, Instagram, Facebook, and give these guys a follow, because they well and truly I thoroughly deserve it. Good work.